Hello and welcome back to my videos. This is about the Docker registry and what you want to learn in this video is uh, how you can create your own registry server and how you can make a web GUI for it. I will use an open source web GUI for the Docker registry uh, server and it will be very easy but you can build your own if you want but you can get a lot of, of free out there so it's probably not necessary to, to do. So the first thing you want to do, it's going for the website, it's the docker hub. When you are here on hub.docker.com, you can search for docker registry and then the registry front end. That's what we want to do here. This is a two year old project, but it's working fine and this is just the, what we want to do here. So going back for the terminal and I want the version 2 it's very important that you get the old one and I have not tested my video with this so just yeah keep this in mind when it's the when it's finished to uh, uh, to download then we want to make a network because then we will bundle the the Docker registry, so and the front end together in the same network, so it can use each other. So Docker network, create registry, and I already have this. You can see I have it here, but else if you don't have it yet, you need to use this command. And then we say Docker run. Uh, registry here on port 5000 and should be named and what we want to do here it's we want to say the docker should run a container and when we finish it we need to uh, remove it and you should run it with the port 5000 and we name it like a registry server and we want to bind it for the network registry and we take it from the image registry and then we are up and run the next we want to do is say docker run remove it when we close it down and it should be with the name called registry ui and the network should be registry and the environment variable we want to say it's env docker registry host is equal to registry server that's the name we used before and then we say new environment should be env registry and then the port number should be 5000 and we want to bind this for port 5, 8080 and on the host and 80 on the container then we want to the image should be con red clay I can't spell this docker registry front end version 2. If it's something is failed here, I won't copy this. So let's see about starting it. It's basically running. So let's go back to the browser and we can see the registry server here and HTTP local host 80, 880 and we have the registry server here so we can see we have to browse the repositories here and we have nothing and it's taking a little time to be connected to the, the server so probably something is it's wrong here but let, let's go into the terminal one more time we type it one more time so we are sure so we say Docker run it and I will explain the the issue in just a minute
and then set a Docker registry host. It's a registry server, and then we want one environment more. And then before we have the registry here, the port num the port number, sorry. And what we're missing is the Docker. Remember this if you're falling into the same issue as me. And then the port number is 8080 to the 8. And then we save this one. And then we're starting it up one more time and we spin this up one more time and see how it's react inside the website here and everything is look fine now and then we're going up and push and let's see how it reacts on the website here now it's done and reload inside on the registry web UI you can click on the image and you can see uh, uh, the, the version here on the last list, and you can see the labels and everything and you can see the dog pool here so you have everything just in another GUI interface so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoy and now you're ready to the next step the next video where I will create the docker compose file and of course I will put it on github for all my projects and if you want to follow me Please subscribe my channel here on YouTube and make comments if you have any questions and press on the like button if you like it and put it to your playlist and of course share with your friends. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Thank you for subscribing. See you.